Rose. And I'm back with the third unboxing of my Black Friday order from Sophie Beauty. And so just to remind you, this is the packaging that it came in, sort of the black bag, uh, plastic bag, and then the um, tubular bubble wrap, which I actually really, really like stuff that comes in the tubular bubble wrap because it's light. Oh, Pippi doesn't like the popping sound. I'm just getting this ready to throw away because I will not be reusing it. Oh, Pippi, poor thing. This one's really, really full. So, um, like it's, the air is in there so tight. It made this packaging completely rigid. And um, so very good for sending diamond paintings. Okay, so everything is out of here. I'll just get rid of that. Uh, let's take a look at the kit. Uh, so there were three kits that came in this uh, order. Um, regular white boat with funnel, single placer with a three placer on the end, uh, about five bags, four or five bags, something like that, and the pink wax. So a perfectly good kit. Um, and then I will sh it comes in two bags, the drills. And this is the image. It's a 50 by 50. And I call it Girl with Cranes. I think it's a just a beautiful, beautiful image. And when I saw it, I had to have it. And it's a nice size. It's not too large. But hopefully it's big enough that it'll do the diamond painting justice. We'll get into that in just a little while. Um, it does come on a foam core. The three paintings were wrapped around the foam core. And I actually like that quite a bit because uh, every painting makes the foam core, pa uh, like the, the little package around the foam core, that much more rigid even. So it's, uh, it's really good. I'm saving these foam cores for my sister. She uses them to wrap her cross stitch whips in. So uh, let's take a look first at the back of this. The canvas is as perfect as one could expect. Um, all three of the canvases in this order were perfect, absolutely perfect. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so that you can see the whole thing. And I'm going to pull back the paper on this. I think it probably goes this way. So I have not been pulling back the paper on uh, the others that I opened today uh, from what I call the bottom, uh, but because they weren't really folded or they weren't really rolled too, too much. But this one is a little bit more rolled, maybe because it was the one on the inside. And so I'm just going to relax it a little bit by pulling the paper back completely. Okay. There we go. And what I found with the last one I opened was that um, there were tiny, tiny little rivulets uh, where the adhesive came up off of the canvas in tiny, tiny little thin um, rivers. And just to avoid that happening now as much as possible, what I'm doing is pressing really, really hard with my 99 cent bone folder, I think it was $1.14 Canadian, from, uh, I think it was AliExpress. Uh, and um, it's got smooth edges, but it's nice and firm. And uh, it's got a, a sh like a rounded edge on it here, which I use for all kinds of things. And um, I just love it for my diamond paintings. So what I'm doing is I'm just pressing really, really hard down on the canvas to make sure that the adhesive is as well stuck as possible to hopefully um, avoid a situation where the adhesive comes up as I'm pulling the paper back. 
because sometimes what happens is it lifts just a little bit and a tiny bit of air gets trapped inside and then you've got to flatten it out with the pointy end of the um, of the bone folder or whatever you use. You don't need a bone folder. There's all kinds of other things you can use, but I just find this thing uh, is super useful. I use it primarily to flatten the paper back after I have um, uh, after I've pulled paper up on a canvas. Okay. So again, this is very muted colors um, compared to my usual reds and pinks and purples and yellows and oranges and you know bright greens and blues and things. Um, but I found it to be a really, really beautiful image. And so I wanted to get it and I plan on doing it this year. I'm not going to go any further back than that. There's about a centimeter or two centimeters that are still covered up here on the left edge, but um, there you go. All right, I forgot to measure it. Oh well, let's measure. So what I'm going to do is um, measure along the bottom here. Let me just make sure it's all in frame. No, it's not all in frame. Okay, let's see. Hold on. There we go. Now it's all in frame. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is just measure along the bottom here from where I can see the edge of the drill field. And I don't have any reason to think that this won't be the right size because the other two were. So yeah, it's, it's like a, a millimeter more than 50. And... And again, two millimeters more than 50. So that is 50 by 50. The um, adhesive extends a little tiny bit beyond the edge of the diamond painting, which is why um, it's stuck there for a little bit. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do now is find it on my, my um, this is my 296th order. So what I did was I made stickers for all of my 9 11, uh, not 9 11, uh, 11 11 and um, uh, Black Friday orders. And so this is 50 by 50. I, I pre filled them all, but um, left the size blank. So I could fill that in at my leisure when I actually got the diamond painting. Uh, so it's a little tight there, so I'll put it down the side here. There we go. All right, and then I can just lift that off uh, if I decide to give this away or, or whatever. Um, okay, so this is my 296th order from uh, of diamond paintings. Um, like this is the 296th item I ordered. I have not made 296 individual orders because I try to order multiple items in each, um, in each order. Uh, okay, and uh, yes, it was advertised as 50 by 50. It is 50 by 50. It was advertised as square. It, it, I got square drills. Um, Sophie Beauty official store is where I bought it. I ordered it on November 29th. They shipped it on December 5th, and I received it on or before December 27th. I was away from the 23rd to the 27th, and I picked it up on the 27th when I got home at the post office. So, um, so it came in sometime during that period, which I think is, is very, very acceptable. Um, this item normally, uh, the, the pre-sale price, was $25.81. I got a discount of $5 on this item. And so I paid $5? Yeah, $5. And so I paid $20.81. That's Canadian. So it was about $14 US. 
Uh, I don't think it was $15. It might actually have been like $13 in some sense US because uh, exchange is more than a third. Um, so, uh, so yeah, probably around $13.50, $14 US. Okay, so um, there we go. Uh, it looks very pretty. Even just with my eyes, it looks good. Through the camera, it looks better. Um, very, very muted. It looks very, very muted, but I think when you put the drills on there, it's going to in like be enlivened uh, for the color because there's so much black print on the drill field. Let's first take a look at the legend. So there's what the painting is supposed to look like. And you see this line right here, that's where the adhesive extends out to. So 50 by 50 centimeters. There is the legend, a uh, very simple legend. Um, I have, oh, I have boats marked with all of these symbols, so I won't even have to uh, label new boats. I don't know exactly how many colors there are. We'll see that when I open up the, um, the inventory sheet. But let's take a look at the drill field. It's very clear. Now, sometimes I would say I'd like to see, like where you see the Wi-Fi symbol, what I call the Wi-Fi symbol, um, or the jelly roll. No, that's not the jelly roll. Jelly roll looks more like a jelly roll. Uh, when you see the, something like the Wi-Fi symbol, sometimes I say I'd like to see that as uh, dark uh, printing, black printing on a light background. But the color is bright, like is dark enough that that'll be easily distinguishable and it's not going to be confused with any of the other light colors that we see around it like the 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 uh oh gosh the hourglass uh, i think there's like a double circle yeah hold on let's see if we can zoom in on that that double circle that's right there in the middle between the two p's um i'm not going to confuse the wi-fi sing signal with any of those. So um, so that's good. Let's pull back a little bit. Uh, you know, I always like to look at faces. And so, don't oh, Pippi see something outside. She's very excited. Pippi, stop. Oh, I think she sees a dog being walked outside. Okay. Pippi, stop it. So even though this is for me, a small painting, I think there's sufficient definition in the face. And as we get down, I think the eyes, the nose, you can even make out the lips and the nostrils. Pippi. Uh, so that's, that's good. Another thing that's always interesting to me is hands. And, you know, I'm looking at it from a, well, the camera is about a foot away from the canvas. And uh, the hands, you can see the definition in the hands. You can see the feathers in the cranes. Let's just zoom in on the drill field there so that you can see the detail. It's very nice. It's very nice. This, this will be, I think, a pleasure to do. And there's just enough color that I think it'll, it'll be something to, um, I don't know, this is something that I would be happy to give to somebody uh, as a gift because it, it looks really, really nice. Okay, so I'm going to pause you, cover her up, and we're going to get ready to do inventory. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm just um, sort of showing you the as wide an angle as I can get so that you can see the pile of drills here. And I'm going to fast forward through the um, through the inventory process, but I know that many of you like to see me doing inventory. So I'm gonna turn on the light and we're gonna get started. Okay. And uh, once again, uh, it's a, what I'm using is a Ziploc bag from the uh, grocery store for some deli 
meat that I bought. I uh, don't like throwing away plastic if I can possibly help it. I like to reuse it as much as I can. Uh, I would never reuse deli meat plastic for food, um, but I wash them super, super carefully and then I use um, hand sanitizer to remove the printing so that I have one clean side. Um, I could use Goo Gone or something to remove the, uh, the label. I don't care that much. It'll be on the bottom, so it won't matter. Okay, so now that you know that, so I'm zoomed in so that you can see better what it is that, uh, that I'm doing. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm marking as well. So here we go. So uh, what I'm noticing is they don't tell you the number of bags, they tell you how many drills. So this diamond painting is different, uh, like I noticed the symbol set is different from the symbol set for the other two that I did. And the other two uh, that I unboxed today, uh, also they did include the number of bags instead of the number of drills. So um, I'm thinking they got this. I don't know, maybe from a different company or something like that. Um, but uh, we'll see. So this one, uh, I got 10 bags. Uh, they need 2,000 drills. So I'm assuming that there are at least, at least uh, 2,000 or 200 uh, drills in each package. Um, I'm pretty sure they said that there was, um, that there was a, an excess number of drills, like 20 or 30% more drills. So let's hope. Okay, so here we go. This one here, uh, 224, I got eight bags, but I need 1,643. So that tells me that there are more than 200 drills in each bag, or else I'm going to run out. I'll be at least 43 short. So I'm not going to worry about it because I'm less and less worried about running out of drills with any reputable company. Um, and, you know, I can always just order them if I need to. I don't like to do that all the time, but what the heck. Okay, uh, one. So I'm done the inventory, and here are the drills, and let's just go up the list looking for any areas that don't have a dot beside them. No, okay, so I've got everything I need. What I find interesting is that here I need 2,700, they gave me, um, well, I need 2,643, they gave me 14 bags. Um, 
Let's see. I need 228, they gave me two bags. Um, so that suggests that they weren't sure that there were gonna be an extra 30 drills in there. So that's less than 20% that they're uh, giving, um, that they're giving uh, extra there. Here, 1,800 drills, they're giving me exactly nine. So, and here, 2,000 drills, they're giving me exactly 10. Uh, so I, I just find it like here, 2589, they're giving me 13. Um, so I think I should be okay, but sometimes it's pretty close. We'll see, I'm not gonna fuss about it uh, too much. Um, it should be fine. So now I'm just gonna stick, I probably have to fold this a little bit. There we go. I'll stick this in here so that I know which diamond painting this goes with. And, oops. Yeah, I had them so perfectly lined up. Oh well, uh, this will be good enough. There we go. And there is the girl with Crane. And once again, uh, I think it's a really, really pretty picture. I should, I'm not sure if I showed you the picture uh, on the inventory sheet, but it really is a beautiful, beautiful image. I love it. Anyway, I, uh, I look forward to doing this one. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and I will be back with you again very, very soon. And I want to thank all of my patrons and all of my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. And... Um, uh, to all my viewers, thank you for coming to visit. Leave me comments down below. You know I love your comments. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.